Honorable Prime Minister and Lady Jagnat, Vice Prime Ministers and Ministers, Excellencies, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, the Mauritius Afrasia Bank Open is the biggest international sports event ever organized here. It's a first in terms of prize money, about 1 million euros in total prize money. We have 130 golfers competing for that. It's a first also, as uh, just mentioned, in terms of the tremendous TV coverage and generally press coverage that we're having for this uh, event. 43 TV channels covering a total potential audience of some 600 million viewers in 35 countries around the globe. I'm told that in all we get about 800 hours of TV coverage. And then of course you've got all the articles in the written press. So thank you everyone who has organized this. It's a tremendous mileage for Mauritius. And, and especially it's tremendous mileage for golf in Mauritius. Because the Mauritius government is betting on golf. We believe that the potential for golf is tremendous. And that Mauritius can become a must-visit destination for golfers. We already have eight beautiful golf courses, one additional one being built at the moment. And I think you'll agree when you see them, you haven't seen all of them. That is just simply breathtaking and fantastic. And if you add that to the superb quality of our hotels, you've got a fantastic holiday destination, a fantastic golf destination. But of course what we are looking for are not just couples, etc. who come for a holiday and happen to play golf. A golf destination means a destination where people come specifically to play, to play golf. And I think we can reach that goal and we are reaching that goal. Especially since golf is uh, growing very fast around the world, with women more and more playing golf and golf, and also a lot of golf being played in Asia which is one of our target markets for Mauritius. So, knowing that we have a lot of fanatics in golf, we believe that if we provide excellent golf courses, we will get a lot of people coming to Mauritius. And especially this year, and from now on every year, we're going to have a special um, program from May to September, mid-May to September after this tournament, mid-May to September, we're going to offer uh, great deals for golfers coming to Mauritius. One of our problems we had up uh, till now was that if you come to a golf hotel, you play golf in that same, it, it will attach to that hotel. And you don't have the chance, really, you really have the chance to play other, on other golf courses. All this is being changed, and for the hourly season, May to September, everyone who comes to a golf hotel will have the chance to play at any other golf course in Mauritius for a very nominal fee. So we hope that this year and from now on every year, people will come to Mauritius during that period. The weather is fantastic. You don't want too much sun when you're golfing, I think, when you're playing golf. So it's going to be fantastic weather and fantastic golf courses and fantastic hotels to stay at. So I think the variety of golf courses illustrates something that we have in Mauritius that probably no other island has. That is the sheer diversity of the island. We're probably the most diverse island in the world. Not only in terms of population, cultures, religions, etc. But also, and we've been trying very hard at this, and to get so many things to do. This is not a place where you get bored. You cannot get bored in Mauritius, I'm quite sure of that. And just read the papers and you will not get bored. <laughs> <laughs> but you will not get bored in Mauritius as a tourist or as a Mauritian. So um, the diversity of, of the island is, I think, what's making us happen, it's making us popular. But I think we're going to have a good year. We have about 8% growth this year, and things are looking good uh, for the rest of the year. And so we hope that we have a good year. But one of the reasons why is not only the sheer quality of the, of the product, but also the diversity so many things to do and adding golf in a big way to that to that diversity. I'd like to thank all the uh, all the uh, organizers.
sunrises and also the Gulf, uh, you know, what you call them, the sunshine, the Gulf tours, sunshine, Asian, European tours. I think above all, you have believed in Mauritius. You have believed that such a small island, as I just mentioned, such a small island can organize such an important golf course. I'd like to go golf tournament. So I'd like to thank you for believing in Mauritius. I'd like to, to say also that we are slightly changing, but slightly, I think we are having quite a major change in the way that our tourism uh, uh, office now looks at events. We've been used to you know, financing small, small, small events all around the year. And we are now going to concentrate on a small number of very large events like this event at, uh, this week, and we, we are pleased to have co-sponsored this event. And so we're going to have major events hopefully during the year. We're thinking of those of you who like uh, the sea. We're hoping to uh, organize, perhaps before the end of the year, and start at least an international yacht race around the Vanilla Islands in collaboration with all the other Vanilla Islands. We're hoping, uh, again, uh, this year itself, Organize the Port Peace Light Festival, which, which with local expertise now we can do, we can do on our own, and and we we'll we we'll open to uh, co-sponsor to organize co organize other major events, so that we really put Mauritius on the map. Finally, let me say that this is another great example of uh, of what characterizes the success of Mauritius, and that is the exemplary public and private collaboration around a shared vision and our strong love for our country. No doubt, ladies and gentlemen, that this is the formula for Mauritius to continue to forge ahead and to continue to continue to continue to increase prosperity and the second economic miracle that is so important to Mauritius and the government. Thank you very much.